This is Jenga na Alex Najalas. Man, it's happy, <laughs> happy new year. I know you guys have been waiting for this episode and just to let you know where we are. Uh, the people said we don't have money to do this job. Of uh, course, uh, yes, uh, uh, uh. we don't have the money. Uh, uh, mm. It's true, it's true. It's true. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we, had an, we, we had an issue. Mm -hmm. We all know that we had an issue with uh, the plot in between, Jalango's plot and my plot. The issue actually has been solved. So in the next like one, two weeks. Three weeks. Three Let's weeks. give it three weeks. Say three weeks. Uh, we should have already. Your plot <laughs> and we'll be back with the back. We will be back. That is why we are again here at Plascon. Uh, definitely our paint sponsors. The people come together to make sure that our project will have that brilliant, brilliant, beautiful finish. Definitely Plascon paints. Telecom Pico side. So mm -hmm. now today is a big day for us in Plascon. We are going to pick Rangia Plascon, um, one for exterior and interior, and uh, there's a lot no, to stop talking from. about the paints. Stop, stop talking about paints. You know nothing about paints. You just know white. If it's white, it's white. It's but white is white. Do you know, I was talking to, to Dom before we came in here, mm. and we were talking about, like, averagely, how many shades per color when somebody says green. Mm. How many shades of green? Um... If we were to take a look at the stand downstairs, we'd probably look at about three to four hundred different shades of green. Um, even even Alex with his color of white, we could probably offer thirty to forty different shades of white. Um, so when you're looking to find the perfect color, we're confident we can give you the perfect color. So when it comes to gray, there are how many? Yeah. Shades? So so we have a, a lovely fan deck, fan deck called architectural grays. Yeah. And there's probably around a hundred different shades of gray. A hundred different shades of gray. Mm -hmm. All right, before we go on, introduce yourself, then she introduces herself. Uh, my name is Tyron Immelman, and uh, I'm very proud to be part of this uh, sponsorship. Um, and I'm the regional marketing manager for Plascon and Cancer Paint in East Africa. Mm -hmm. um, my name is uh, Joanna Andavia. Also very proud uh, to be partnering for, um, with you guys as well. I'm the brand manager for Kenya. Wow. So definitely. But in short, come out. This is Tyron and this is Joanna. All right. And they're working with Plascon. All right. And that is the most important thing at the moment. <laughs> so, like I told you, Tyron yeah. and Joan, my house I need something very simple. I need something that is going to show uh, much light, much brighter, uh, cleanliness, and uh, you know, you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. All right. And don't, don't, don't even mix any color or anything. All right. And the color is one and one color alone. White. Now, for me, <laughs> there's something different here. I just came here today, and before we went live, um, there's something that Tyrone told me, that there's a 60, 30, 10 idea. All right? Now, mm -hmm. any idea designers wengi. All right? So it means when you're picking colors, there's that 60%. I'm going to the main color, mm -hmm. then 30%, then 10%. I'm interested in understanding this concept. Mm -hmm. So, so Tyrone, I think, or All Joanna, right. I, 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 maybe, I maybe think you explain yeah, that concept. I'd, I'd, I'd like, like to explain that. Actually, you can, yeah. if you take a look at some of our material, yeah. it, it actually helps you choose these colors best. Yeah. Now, the 60-30-10 principle is a very easy uh, color scheming principle. Yeah. And it's not like we just made it up. It actually yeah. is a design principle used by designers and color professionals around the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you were rightly saying, Alex, it, it starts with 60% of your color, your main color. Yeah. That's going to take up, let's say, three or four of your walls. Okay. What is that color? Because that color is going to help you create your color scheme. Yeah. From there, you look at 30% of your color, yeah. which would be a feature wall. Yeah. Or it could be the curtains in your house. Yeah. Or if your curtains match, let's say, your um, your uh, seating arrangements, yeah. you know, your couch. Yeah. And then 10% are really your accents. Oh. That could come in scatter pillows. Yeah. It could come in lampshades. Yeah. It could come in some of the decor items. Yeah. So the 60-30-10 principle is a really nice and clever way for the average person yeah. to go and plan a color scheme in a room or a house. Wow. All right. To me, I will go with 100% <laughs> white. 100% uh, designer's <laughs> idea. You see, in our house, we've done a bit of cladding already. Yes. A bit of cladding, and yeah. uh, we have uh, a bit of brown, the stones. Yeah. Uh, 
and uh, I think that is the only part that will not be of white in my house. Okay. But for for the seats, for the decor, for the paint, for everything in that house mm. will be white. All right. <laughs> well, for me, I think uh, um, there's something we, we were talked about yellow when we were here. Yes. So yellow is for my interior. Mm. All right. I want everyone to come and see white mm. for both houses. Mm -hmm. All right. So when you come to that place, you'll see white, Jalamo's white, I mean, house will be white, my house will mm. be white, same color from outside. Mm. But when you get inside the house, mm. that's when you see my house and my creativity. Wow. That's, when the, that's where the yellow comes So in. when you talk about yellow, when you come at Plasco, yeah. they'll take you about uh, through this color chart now. These yeah. are yellows. Yeah. All this is yellow. Yeah. This is still yellow. This is still yellow. All the way, all these are shades of yellow. Shades. Yeah. Which yellow are you talking about? Pole pole. <laughs> <laughs> Which yellow am I talking about? So, so the sixty percent for me, mm -hmm. when it comes to go for yellow basket. No, 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 never, never, never. Basket. Let's <laughs> go for light and easy and smooth and nice. Um, I don't want it to be very dark. I want it to be light. So, so that would be something like. Uh, Lemon mist, Simbaya. Lemon mist, which one is that? So this is lemon mist. Not, not so bad, not so bad. Lemon mist, eh? It's a bit, it's not really... Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, no? Mm. Mayor, no? Hey. Mayor. I'm a light reflection. Uh -oh. Oh, but for most people, do you know what yeah. yellow is? Yeah. This is the only <laughs> yellow they know. <laughs> and for yeah. me, it is yeah. lemon mist. Uh, and uh, all these are yellow. Until we get to... We are still at yellow. No, no, no. This is green. Man. No. When you're colorblind? No. Are you <laughs> colorblind? This is green. No, that is still yellow. What do you mean? It's still in there. It has tones of yellow underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. Yeah, this is still yellow. yellow. Yeah. This is still yellow. Still what do you mean this is yellow? You made your color blind. <laughs> you see, you are still on yellow until until you get to this is still yellow. Oh, Dogs. Oh, All fill into a color yeah. family. Until you get to greens. All these are yellow. Until you get here. Yes. So this is blue. Yes, now this, when, is this is the whole of this is green. <laughs> uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Do you know this is blue? <laughs> That's what we are talking about when you come to Plascon. They give you the opportunity to choose your color. If you checked our previous videos, you actually go there and mix your own color. You just say what you want and you will actually mix the color that you want. When you walk out of this place, it is the color that you want and they'll always get it right for you. If that's true, hundred mm percent. -hmm. So, so looking at um, Alex's choice of lemon mist, for example, yeah. it's actually in this sixty thirty ten principle. Okay, we're talking about. All right. So there, you've got lemon mist uh -huh. as a main color. Uh -huh. Y four a two three, mm -hmm. and then you could look at any of these feature colors. Would work really well with it, if you're looking to do a, a, a feature wall. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, in your main bedroom, you go with mermaid jewel mm -hmm. behind the the bed, mm -hmm. and uh, your your accents come through in your curtains or in, in decor. And actually our houses have a feature wall. When you walk it's a whole yes. big wall like this. Right, right opposite. Right. Not on the cladding side, on this other side. Which side? The one side is cladded. Yeah. This other side, other is side yes. yeah, that's the feature wall. Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> opposite the cladded wall. Uh, opposite yes. the cladded wall. Yes. yes. If you follow the follow us up you'll always see. So Wow. So what do you guys have for this year for your customers? Um, I'm going to ask Joanna to just talk about the color forecast. So mm. every year we introduce something new in mm. color to help people choose color. Mm. Um, and I think it's a nice way to introduce that to you through this program as well. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, as Tyron said, we are actually one of the first people that have something called a color story every year. So... Um, this year it's something that's very personal to each and every one of us the world throughout we all suffered from the pandemic yeah. in one way or the other yeah. you know people no more mombasa raha going to karura all these things because of the lockdowns and you're at home so what we decided to do this year is to celebrate freedom you know coming back into into um being able to go out have look at the sunshine look at the go to the forest so the colors that we are also looking at their earthy colors 
um, things that have warm yellows, textile, um, textile browns, and um, one of our colors of the year, we also have something that we select that we call a color hero. Yeah. Yeah. So what we have for this year is what we call pear fantasy. Wow. Pear fantasy. Pear fantasy. Pear fantasy. A shade of yellow, yes. right? Wow. Shade of yellow. A shade of yellow. Yeah. So when you think about the wow. sunshine and warmth and all these lovely things we have, pear yeah. fantasy. So what we also have is something known as a palette. Mm -hmm. um, it's a way of us, just like the way Tyron was telling you, it's like a collection or a sequence of colors that you can combine to bring something into life mm. instead of, you know, these color clashing things. Yeah. So what we can pair with a pair fantasy, so ideally this would be the 60%. All right. All right. So if you are to apply the 30%, you can combine it with something called desert water. Desert water? Yes. So, so water becomes a 30%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Pair fantasy will go with desert water. Desert Water. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the ten percent would be something an earthy tone called Zanzibar. 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 So wow. within the the color focus for 2022, we also have what we call seasonal palettes. Seasonal palettes. Mm -hmm. So each palette has five different colors. And they are very, they are very interesting names. I actually love the names that they selected this year. So, like the first palette is something called celestial. When you think about celestial, you know you think of angels and all yeah. those things. So there are blues, different kinds of shades of blues, which will will we share the trend pack. You can also find it on our website. Oh, yes. And then you have the second one, which is coastal. When you think about the beach, you know the even when you just look at the beach, it's just not blue. So yeah. some places it looks like turquoise and green and yeah. all that. Yeah. So we show you how to combine that with um, tinted yellows. You know, like when you walk on the beach and you see these little shells that look a bit pink. Yeah. So those are the colors that we can combine. Wow. The third one, we have something called um, mineral, which also has five colors. Mineral, just even when you think about it, like one of my favorite shades, what I showed you, which is Iwa. Iwa. So you Iwa. have charcoal, you yeah. have different kind of stone colors mm. and they are combined with uh, textures you know like when you see mud that deep brown yeah. and then the last uh, palette that we have is called grounded just as the name suggested it has deep browns for the earth that is actually where um, you pair it with warm yellows yeah. and this is where our color of the year uh, uh, pair fantasy sits Wow. So there's so much that um, you can do with color, mm -hmm. and there's um, a lot more that we'll, we get, we can go on and on about color. Wow. So wow. I think for now, mm. <laughs> it's for you guys now to select. Take us to the color chart. Yeah. We'll go straight to the color chart so that we see what they have. But just know, for this year, the color of the year is pear fantasy. And pear fantasy can uh, easily be your 60%. And definitely the desert water will be your 30%. Okay. And uh, Zanzibar. we have Zanzibar taking the 10%. Yeah. Wow. The others you can mix with your curtains and everything. <laughs> you, can get, you can just wake up. Huh? Then you start huh? telling Fundi. Wow, wake up white, up, wake up blue. No, what you call a toto? Wake up, toto. Everyone is doing the same and come to Blasco so that they can walk with you to make your next dream house. The next video, definitely, we are going to the color chart. Then we will also show you the color of the year. This is Jenga, Jenga na, na Alex, Alex Najalas. Na